Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can know if somebody can reach like 70 in Nigeria. You know, <laughs> you, you, you thank God. It's a, it's a blessed country. So you should, one should be thanking God. You know that somebody that reached 70 years, a lot, his eyes must have seen a lot of things. <laughs> it is people like us that know how to thank God. The Psalm 40 says that... Uh, uh, <laughs> He brought me out from the Mary Clay. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he established my going. Before I can even speak English, <laughs> it's by the grace of God. Because I went to secondary school at the age of 25. After I've worked for some years and saved money. And I now see somebody who said that, ah, you can still go to school now. There's a state in Nigeria where they give you free education in secondary school, and they will give you textbook, they will give you uh, uh, exercise book. I said, uh-huh. it means I can go to school in that state. That is how I went to school. It's a privilege for me to be speaking English here. Praise the Lord. It has not been easy. Praise the Lord. It is people like me, it's people like me that know how to thank God. You may not appreciate it here. Here, if you get your child, if it is time to go to school, they just send you to school. You are not likely to pay a bill. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe secondary school is even equally free if you are an indigent. Yes, yes, it's not like that in Nigeria. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why I am telling you this morning that people like us, we will know how to thank God better. And people have said that even the Africans, they will know how to thank God because everything is done for them here. What? what? I'm even surprised that you are praying here. <laughs> Almost everything has been done for you. You are still praying. God bless you. <laughs> it is we who know how to pray. Because nothing is done for us. If you want to drink good water, you get your water yourself. Maybe you dig a borehole yourself. Electricity is non-existent. When I was even young, there was electricity in our, in our village. The, one of the politicians came to our village to, to open the ele- electricity and said, and, the, the, and God said there was light, and there was light. <laughs> Akitola, I was, I was very close to the, to the, to the vehicle that was that where he owned the electricity. And that was all. That, I, don't, I don't think the electricity will go on for five, for five years before the whole thing died. When the old globe in the, in the town died, that is the end of the electricity. Praise the Lord. That is how bad, how bad our country has been. It's sad. It's sad. It is we who know how to thank God. Let us go to Psalm 150. Psalm 150. 150. If they, okay, I don't know whether somebody wants to project it for me. I don't know. But, okay. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Say that is how it is in the, uh, the King James Version. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sounds of trumpet. Praise him with the passion and harp. Praise him with timbre and dance. Praise him with string instrument and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. That is why I'm telling you this morning, these people like us who know how to thank God. Somebody that, uh, there is one Hebrew proverb that says that if your palm kernel was broken for you by some benevolent spirit, you, you wouldn't know how it is. Your palm kernel was broken, for, you are not the one who is breaking the palm kernel, but some benevolent spirit break this palm kernel for you like people, people here. You won't know what it is. To give back to children. We were uh, 
in, in Africa, it's, uh, don't let me paint the, the ugly things here. It's, it's sad. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist, I think the psalmist lived in our age. He knew how to praise God too. Psalm 115, verse 17 to 18. Praise the Lord. The dead, praise not the Lord, neither any that have gone down into the pit. But we will bless the Lord for this time, forth, and forevermore. It is only the living, only the living that can praise God. That's why I tell you that if somebody lives up to 70 years in Africa, I should thank God. It is only the living that can thank God. That is why when it was COVID, they were thinking that millions would die in Africa. But it, and our people said that the, a, a, a cow that doesn't have tail, now God is uh, sending the flies away from, from that. We, they know that we don't have tail. They say that millions will die in Africa, but God is the one protecting us. It is only the living. Only the living that can praise God. That is why we are here. That's why I'm here this morning. I told you, before I went to secondary school, I, I was 25 years old. And I went because somebody told me that if you go to a secondary school in so 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 state, you are going to be going to a secondary school without paying. And they will give you exercise book. And they will give you textbook. At least they will give you mathematics and English. Praise the Lord. And that's how I went. And God helping me. I that I know that I come there with my on my own, not be somebody they sponsor me. I, I was I was in prim, uh, class three. I was the one working the people that want to do work in that school. They, everybody in that school call me brother Clement because you don't know, they don't have to tell you that I'm older than you before you know. Some people there's some people thought that I came to that school to come and teach, <laughs> but when it was on Monday and I wear the orange, orange uh, shirt and uh, uh, khaki nika. Ah, and he said, this baba, you want to go to school here? <laughs> so, so those who want to write white that year, they will say, Brother Clement, when you want to wake up to read, wake me up. Mm. I was the one waking those that want to read for white. Wow. And I was in class three. Mm. And God so made it. When we got to the vice principal, who was supposed to take me to that school, I was... Do, how many people? Okay, there's somebody was, that was kind of something like James Brown hair here. here. <laughs> that guy. Stand up. That's how my hair was then. <laughs> I was carrying James Brown hair. And the vice principal who was to, supposed to take me to, into that school said, Hmm, I understand you've been working in Lagos. My uncle who brought me to that school said, Yes. And uh, how are we sure that you are not going to, you are going to keep the rules and regulations of this school? My uncle was answering for me because I didn't, I didn't say anything. He said, he will, he will keep to lose her. And how am I sure that you are not going to be womanizing? Mm. Two, sentences. two sentences. Very daunting two sentences. Mm. Truly, truly, I was having girlfriend in Lagos when I was working. I was working in Bata before I came to that school. And he said, how are we sure? I, I, I told you, everybody in that school knows that I'm not supposed to be a student. The, that I'm supposed to be either in university or something or lecturing. <laughs> and the principal said, how are we sure you are going to keep the rules and regulations of this school? One, how am I sure that we are not going to be womanizing? And I promised myself, I came here myself. I'm not going to talk to any girl in this school before I finish. <laughs> when, it, it, when it is done on them, on my classmates, when we got to class five, and we are about writing our wife, we are already even right here now. Some of my classmates, they went to one beautiful girl in our class. They said, Brother Clement sent them to go and approach her. <laughs> the girl said, if, if Brother Clement didn't come himself, I, I no go agree. <laughs> and I didn't send them. So it was when we are doing uh, uh, the last day, they now told me what they told that girl. And what the girl told me, I said, that's better. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. <sighs> like Solomon. You know, what brought Solomon to be a king was that there was a palace, do I call it palace politics? Abi? Mm. Palace politics. Or palace coup. Mm. The, one prophet, go and tell the uh, did the king not promise you that your, your son is going to be the next king? The king didn't tell, tell, tell her that type of thing, but the man put it in her mouth. And the woman, when they were having night vigil, when, they are, when a wife stayed with their husband <laughs> in the night, say, oh king, you promised me you are going to make my son the next king after you. Say, ah, did I say something like that? Okay, maybe. Okay, we'll see how, how we can do that. And you know, the prophet was already backing him up. So they arranged for how Solomon became a king. That was why Solomon, when he became king, he was surprised him. He said, me? So when, when, when God asked him, he, 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 he said, God, who made me to be king inst instead of my father David? I'm not the, there are, I have some brothers who are even contesting, those who are, who are even declaring themselves to be king. And some people have even backed them up. Even I hit off it. The, the, the great uh, uh, advisor of his father has supported that one. If I hit off it, support that guy, how will he not succeed? But God destabilized the, the, the advice of I of it. Because God was not there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And eventually, Solomon became king as a result of palace politics. And when Solomon wants to do something wonderful that anybody has not done, he offers 1,000 burnt offerings. And this one, this God, say, ah, God now came in the night. I say, this small boy, what brought you to give an offering like that? What are you thinking? Do, is there anything in particular that you want? And God said, and, and Solomon said, God, you know, I'm a small boy. I don't know much about uh, how to rule. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to rule these rule this vast people that they are making, make me king over. If you just give me wisdom. That's one thing that I need. I need wisdom to govern these people. That's something that we are lacking in our country. We, need, we lack wisdom. Or maybe they have wisdom in the other, other direction. Praise the Lord. That is why our country is in shambles. It's in Shambu. Mm -hmm. Anyone that is good there, they won't allow him to get there. Mm -hmm. And they put the people that they want. And the, one philosopher said that a country get the type of leader they want to, they deserve. They deserve, yes, sir. Wow. Maybe that is the type of leader we deserve. May the Lord deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. So Solomon offered 1,000 bond offering, and God said, wow, what did you want? And he said, I just want wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. To test his wisdom. To test his immediately he said that. A few days after that, two halos were using the same room. They were using the same room. And the, uh, two of them, they, maybe they are careless halos. They, they have issues. They have children, young, young children. They gave birth at almost the same time. And they were sleeping on the same mat. And one, a sleeper, is a rollover a child, and the child died. Oh. He, 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 he. he just quickly exchanged his own, her own child and give it to her uh, mate. And that and, and slept as if nothing happened. <laughs> and when the, the other lady wake up this morning, say, ah, what? This child is dead. And come and look at the face. Ah, this is not my child. He said, this is not my child. He said, it's your child. Every other lady was saying the, their live child is their own child. Ah, they brought that case to the king. But because God has given him wisdom that will make him to stay and people will be admiring his uh, government. He said, well, since all of you is having this dead one, it belongs to no one, no one now. Eh? We will divide this dead one. I will divide this uh, one that is alive. We will share it. I have. Ah! That one said, yes, that is what we are going to do. <laughs> we will just, uh, let, let, let nobody have that uh, child that is living. And the other said, no. 
let's, let's leave the child that is still alive. Let, let, her, let her take the child that is alive. And the king said, that, that's the mother of the child. The real mother of the child. Come out! Out of uh, the, the reaction of the people. Praise the Lord. Our people say, Dabi inti dani she le ito You want the same, the same thing to happen to all of them. Since my own child has died, let the other child die. And that is wisdom. That is wisdom. May the Almighty God grant you wisdom in Jesus' name. So, that was why David was killing a thousand, thousand bucks of one offering. Because God surprised him. God made him to reign instead of his father. It's not the, it's not the first son in, in Yoruba or in any, any tradition. Maybe the first son to the king should have been the next king. king. But and, uh, it's not the first son. It was even a son from one, uh, one uh, bad uh, combination. <laughs> yes. the, the father took another man's wife and, and killed the father, the, the real husband, and uh, took the, the wife to... Uh, if, if that person, person should become a king, will he not supposed to be thanking God? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning, maybe you think that uh, not much has, God has done not, not much for you. I'm just telling you my own side. Do you have any reason to thank God this morning? The reason why they gave me this topic is because today is the 1st of uh, September and it's supposed to be Thanksgiving Sunday. And I'm telling you that as you are sitting down there, you have a reason to thank God. You have a reason to thank God. Oh, my daughter came here to come and read. When she was coming here, I tell you, the one where I don't spend on you, you don't do. Your junior brother is still there, he's still in the reading, and I'm paying dearly with my pension money in the, to, 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 to school him in the, in the US. He said, Daddy, if you can just pay the school fees. I will not ask you anything again. Wow. I said, how are you going to make it? He said, I will be working there. So when she was giving testimony here that uh, when she was leaving Nigeria, I gave her $3,000. Somebody want to do PhD that will last three years. I gave her $3,000. How is she going to survive? If not God. Is she not going to, supposed to thank God? So when one day I, now, I just decided to call her. This girl who has not called me all this while, let me call her. And I'll call her. He said, Daddy, it's not been easy here. I even want to buy a small car. And I've, I approached a colleague to borrow me like $2,000. And uh, he has promised to borrow me. If you borrow you, when are you going to pay? That is when I now go to bank. I can still afford that. And I'll send $2,000 for her so that she will not borrow money from a colleague. That girl is supposed to be thanking God. I don't know how she feels. And I know, if it were to be Nigeria, it would even surprise me because you can get your PhD certificate in Nigeria without reading. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just, you just need to see the lecturers. And if, 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 if it's so good and the lecturers are all made, that's wonderful. <laughs> you just see the lecturers and they will give you pass, and they will give you pass, and they will give you pass mark. <laughs> And you carry a, a certificate of a CHD which you cannot defend. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is how bad our country is. It's as bad as that. We have more than 150 universities in Nigeria. But how many of them are credible? How many of them are credible? <sighs> that is how the whole thing in Nigeria is. Even now, our certificate is being rejected in some countries. Because they don't trust us. They don't, tr they don't trust our certificate. Because some of them, even so a girl was bragging inside the, the, the internet that uh, she used her body to get her uh, uh, certificate. S some, something that should be hidden. It's broadcasting it. Praise the Lord. So, like that, there are a lot of people that are thanking God. So, but... If something good happened to you, you can be thanking God. Like Paul and Silas, something terrible happened to them, they are still thanking God. 
they were thrown into prison because they are preaching the gospel. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 30. They were thrown into prison. What did they do? They are preaching the gospel. And some people said, these people bring strange, strange religion. They are, they are, they are disturbing the, country, the people. They are disturbing our country. And they took them to the priest. Priest in those days, those are the people de defending the Judaism or something. They now said they should throw, they should throw them into, throw them in inner prison. We don't want them to escape. They put them in inner prison. When they say something is inner, maybe they will first open the first door and second door and third door. Put them in the third door inner and put something on their leg, in their hand, so that they will not be able to escape. In that type of terrible situation, Paul and Silas was singing praises. I know. What I know is that when some, something good has happened to somebody, you can be singing praises. But when something terrible has happened to you to sing praises, it's not easy. That was why God came down from heaven. And there was a serious earthquake in that prison. We will not have earthquake here in Jesus' name. Amen. There was a serious earthquake in the prison. And all the doors were flung up on their own accord. And when the supposed person that supposed to be guiding this prisoner woke up and he saw that every door are open. Hey, the prisoner have escaped. He didn't want to even vet that. He want to he want to kill himself before vetting it. And Paul and Silas said, "Don't kill yourself. We are all here. We are all here." Praise the Lord. In, he was not afraid. And he said, "What do I need to do?" I want to become born again. I want to be born again myself. I think, I don't know when, whether you had a, a, a trending news that in Gaza, they saw Jesus in the, in the air. Did you, did you hear anything here like that? There was a trending news last month. They said, Jesus appeared in the, in the firmament and about 6,000 Muslims, Palestinians and Jews, they, 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 they surrendered their life to Christ. Jesus appeared. And everybody knew that this is the picture that they used to show about Jesus. And there was a bright light that nobody can describe. Indescribable light. And about 6,000 people gave their life to Christ. There has never been anybody that Jesus, that have an encounter with Jesus that will not change differently. Maybe the reason why we are still doing, dealing with Christianity is because we have not we have not encountered Jesus. We have not encountered Jesus. If you encounter Jesus, you will not play a keep and keep Christianity again. The Almighty God will have mercy on us. Amen. Pastor, I, I don't know if, my, if I have overshoot my thought. I tell my daughter that when I'm getting past the uh, minutes they gave me, just wink to me. Say nobody will wink to you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to say this morning is that we, we, all of us, we have a reason to thank God. Yes. But there were some people, the, even the time of Jesus Christ, Jesus, those people, they encountered Jesus. They were all lepers. Ten of them. And Jesus didn't pray. He just asked them to go and show themselves to the priest. And it was in the Bible. Before you can go and show, if you are a leprous person, because you can go and appear before the priest, it means that your leprosy has been, has been cleaned. And as they are going, Jesus didn't pray. He didn't do it, so they continue to wonder. As they were going, they are going. Ah, they now discover that their leprosy has gone. Ah. The rest went to the priest. One came back. And that one happens to be a Samaritan. And they used to... They used to look down on Samaritan, the Jews. It's just like when you are in Nigeria, and they say you are an Igbira man. And so, okay, uh, ten people die, oh, nine Igbira. Uh, uh, one, uh, ten people die. They will say, all of them, na, na, they are Igbira, but one is not. <laughs> As if Igbira is not a human being. So that's how the Jews look at the Samaritans. 
they look down on them. He said, I, 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 was, was it not 10 that were healed? Only one came back to give thanks. Said if Samaritan. Luke 17, 17 to 19. Was it not 10 that was healed? Where are the names? Save this Samaritan. That's the only person that appreciates what happened to, 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 to him. To give thanks to the Almighty. And Jesus said, you are, you are now made whole. Because you come back, you are now made whole. If you have never seen somebody that has leprosy, uh, because they are not normally killed with people, you may not know how it looks. Even if some leprosy are so bad that their fingers will have been off. Fingers will have been off. And when that one came back, or uh, some leprosy is just minor, they will have different type of color in their body. That is minor. And that one that came back to Jesus, Jesus now say, you are made whole. His, now, his body now became that of a, a, a newborn baby because he came back to thank God. So this morning, I want you to thank God so that you can be made whole. If there's anything that is not up to standard, you are still praying for, you are still hoping for, God is going to make you whole this morning in Jesus' name. Yeah. And everything will be perfect by the, by the hand of the Almighty God in Jesus' name. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, it appears I've said all I want to say. If I still have time, I don't know. But this morning, as if you are so classical, or you are still elitist, or you think that uh, this is, uh, you are beyond praising God, I'm afraid. Because Jesus, when when Jesus was driving uh, something to, to Jerusalem, some people were, they were hailing him. They were praising him. They were, and the Jews, the priests, and all the rest of them, and the Sadducees, and the, they said, you keep your mouth shut. He said, if these ones keep their mouth shut, stone! Stone, he shout. The cry of the stone, in Luke chapter 19, verse 37 to 40. If you don't want Stone to shout to praise in your stead. You don't want trees to praise in your stead. You don't want the ocean to praise in your stead. This morning, I want you to stand up and praise God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Living all what a mighty God we say. Yeah. What a mighty God we say. Heaven and earth are doors, angels are before. Oh, yeah. What a mighty God we say. Oh, amen. Amen.
that your people are ready to thank God because they appreciate that they know that you are the God that holds the whole world in his place and everything has every, has every reason to, to, to magnify his holy name if there's anybody who thinks that there's no God, the Bible says the person is a fool I say the Bible says the person is a fool your children are no fools Father Lord God will magnify your holy name Father, we reference you. Father, we thank you, Lord. For our life, we, we still, the, the, the Bible says that my heart is fixed within me. And I will praise the Lord. Yes. Father in heaven, Lord God, we thank you, Lord. Because your people are ready to praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name.